What kind of photo is this? It's a photo of atoms. What? You can even take photos of atoms? But in today's world, why is this photo in black and white? Raksak sir got wind of it. Wow kid, you want a color photo of an atom? Do you even know how this photo was taken? It must have been taken just like any other photograph. They zoomed the lens in a lot more to get that shot. Looks like you bunked modern physics class. Colors appear because of light. When light hits an object, some wavelengths are absorbed and some are reflected. It's the reflected wavelengths that we see as different colors. But an atom is thousands of times smaller than the wavelength of visible light. And if an object is much smaller than the wavelength of light, then instead of reflecting off its surface as would normally occur, the light waves diffract around and through the object. So why don't we use shorter wavelengths such as penetrating gamma rays for imaging or analysis in practice? Good idea, gamma rays wavelength is comparable to an atom's size. But those waves carry so much energy, they move or destroy the atom. So how was the photo taken, sir? With the help of electrons? A photo using electrons? But electrons are particles. Yes, but at high speeds, electrons start behaving like a wave. Just as light sometimes exhibits wave nature and sometimes behaves like a particle, similarly, almost all atomic particles, such as electrons, exhibit dual nature and their wavelength depends on their momentum. And as momentum increases, the particle's energy and its wavelength decreases. In a way, by varying the electron's velocity, we can achieve virtually any wavelength. Shorter wavelengths are absolutely perfect for capturing images of atoms. This property is used in an electron microscope. Free electrons are subjected to a strong electric field. They are accelerated until they attain a high velocity. Once we have the desired wavelength at that speed, we use electromagnetic lenses to focus it onto a very small area. These lenses function like optical lenses to focus the electron beam. When these high energy, finely focused rays pass through a sample, some of its electrons are absorbed or scattered by structures and the ones that pass through create a distinct high resolution imprint of the sample on a fluorescent detector. Just like X-rays. Wow, that's incredible. So if we increase the electron speed further, in other words, shorten the wavelength even more, could we photograph an atom's nucleus?